this is the new DT Watch X, one of the newest smartwatches from the DT family. 1.43 inch AMOLED screen, always on display, 4 gig of storage for local music. You can connect your Bluetooth headset, add pictures to the watch, and even some MP4 videos. It also comes with IP64, a battery of 390 milliamps hour that can last you from three to seven days. And of course, that beautiful round classic design. If you like the videos, please hit the like button. It will be highly appreciated. And with that being said, let's get started with this unboxing. And here we have a DT Watch X. It comes straight from VWare store. Please don't forget the link will be down in the description below. It will take you straight here. You can uh, choose between two different colors. Right now it has a price of uh, $41.99. If you have coupons, go ahead and use them. And please, even that you see on AliExpress, it says 32 gig of storage. That is not real. It is four gigs only. But pretty cool that you can connect straight to the computer and download music. Remember, link in the description below. Now, if we remove the cover, first thing we will see is the smartwatch, two pair of straps. We had the blue silicon in my case. Remember, this will depend which one you choose uh, by the time you buy it. This one has a pretty cool design and very unique. If I go this way, I think you can see right there. It's different than what we used to. They are 22 millimeters and we have the leather straps also. Then we have the charging cable, four magnetic connectors, two for charging, two for data transferring when you connect it to the computer, and of course type A on the other side. Finally, we have the smartwatch. Perfect, here we have it as you see around the screen we have those numbers and lines that makes it look real cool if we go this way the screen itself is a little bit above of the chassis but something pretty cool it is that it comes with a film pre-installed from factory a protector film on the right we come with two buttons one on top one on bottom microphone right below it has that very interesting design as you see on the back we have the charging interface and data transfer sensors four screws holding the back part and right there below the chassis on the left we come with five holes for the speaker if we go ahead and take the measurements from this angle we will come with 46.6 millimeters and a thickness of 13.6 a bias weight 39.3 grams now let's go ahead and install the straps on we're gonna use the silicone ones in this case we just uh, push in and lined up there we go something very interesting with these straps it is like look they seal all the gap around it that's why they have that different style than the leather ones but honestly, it will be real cool that we don't have no gap. There we have it with both. Now, keep in mind that because of that, they cannot swivel to the other side. So pretty much they go like this, but they are very soft to touch and they are very comfortable. Now let's go ahead and power on the device. For that, we just press the top button, hold it for a few seconds. There we go, it has that transformer sound, pretty cool. First thing you will have to do is choose the language. Remember, we don't come with a crown right here, so you will have to swipe with your finger on top of the screen. Let's go all the way to the bottom. That way you can see if it counts with the language you need. We keep on going. And that's it right there. In our case, we're gonna choose English. Second step is to scan the QR code to download the app. I already did it. And that will be the first watch face. It has that dynamic touch that makes it look pretty cool. Not, not only this right here, but if you check around it, it has that circle that is turning all of the time. This other one right here too. Something that I really like, it is that if you double tap, you can select your cards right here. Like for example, the music, you can go real quick to it. Remember that it offers you four gig of storage, so you can um, control your mobile phone music, of course, but also local music or connected to your Bluetooth headset. But of course, if you prefer a slide with your finger like this, yes, you can get into the cards uh, or widgets that way, reorganize them from here, add or delete. 
to the other side it is the same thing just in different order and the transition that you're looking right here maybe this one i think you can see very clear it has that 3d transition but pretty cool that you can come over here to the shortcuts and change it it will offer you six different ui effects like if we choose this other one i think you already saw if we go this way i think you can tell the difference even when you switch the watch face you touch and i think you saw the transition it is like that fan now you just swipe with your finger to select any of the one that will offer you i think right there on top you can see like a bar showing you where exactly you are but not only that it comes with a dial market if we go all the way this way it is right here you can choose by category like uh, if you like the digital style select number and it will offer you many other ones like this one right here let me choose this one right here you just touch on download and there we have it and pretty cool because it has a good memory the watch faces you install they will stay in the watch from top to bottom you have the shortcuts you can control straight from here the vibration level it has good vibration by the way same thing for the brightness let's leave it up too and on screen timing you can go from five seconds all the way customizable to one minute or select always on display something very important I find out in this model it is that if you want the always on display on the main dial you will have to turn on this feature right here but turn off the gesture or it won't work I don't know why they do it like that but I have seen so many watches that do the same thing I don't know why but remember if you want the always play select it on the settings and turn off the gesture feature but that's not it if you prefer you know to save somebody let's go on uh, clock style idle clock right here this is uh, for the power saving mode like the pointer it will offer you three different pointers with the uh, analog style and seven with digital so you will be able to select any of these ones right here that way when the screen goes on power saving mode let me show you right here real quick that will be the pointer showing all of the time yes it won't turn off until you go and do it manually i already been using this smartwatch for a while so i can tell you with the always on display on all of the time it can last you 25 to 26 hours with the pointer right here i was switching around but with the pointer on all of the time it gave me four days i'm talking about connected to the smartphone at the same time if you don't connect it of course it will last you longer but it has a pretty good battery life so pretty cool remember you had all of these pointers to choose if you don't want any just select no if we go right here always on this is for the pointer so you can select that how long you want it on if just five minutes 10 20 or always on even you can customize a period of time right now it's for the whole day but you can set a period of time manually and pretty cool that you don't need to go to the app to select a picture from the gallery you can come straight right here custom wallpaper and select it as a watch face from bottom to top you will find your notifications It's capable to say up to 30 then it will start deleting the oldest one if you press the tab button it will take you straight to the apps menu about smoothness it goes real smooth you press twice and it will switch the style of the apps menu this one right here looks pretty cool of course we do come with the voice assistance you press and hold and you will be able to power off the device reboot it or reset it now about the bottom button it has three different uh, functionalities you press real quick it will turn on or off the screen press twice it will take you to the sports mode and if you press and hold it will call the voice assistance talking about the apps uh, look at this one right here it looks pretty cool about smoothness like i said it goes real well there we have this other style right here we do can with voice uh, recorder Hi to friends, thanks for watching the videos. Please don't forget to hit that like button, it will be highly appreciated. We stop, now we go to list. Hi to friends, thanks for watching the videos.
He has a very loud speaker, I can tell you that. We can with the video album right here. It sounds very loud. It offers you some games in case uh, you are bored. On your wrist, this is how it will look. So very cool in my opinion. You will have plenty of watch faces where to choose from. About contacts, you will be able to add your favorite ones or synchronize your whole agenda from the phone. And now in case that you receive uh, a notification, there we go, the vibrates, it has good vibration, definitely you will feel it. And I don't know if you saw the transition. So that will depend pretty much which transition you choose right here. Even for notifications, you will have it. And now in case of a call, it will show you the contact name. You can silent right away touching the bell icon on top. You will be able to reject or answer the call. From here, you can uh, transfer it to the smartphone, back to the watch, uh, control the volume, mute the microphone, and finally hang up. Like I said, it has a very loud speaker. And well, the friends, that's it for this video, in my opinion, from the budget smartwatches uh, DT had offer us this is one of the most smoothness and cooler ones uh, with that being said please take care and i'll see you in the next one